Now, did you see a UFO? Uh, I, I did, and uh, the rest of the account, well, I, I, it was an identified flying object, okay? It's like, it's unidentified. I saw something now. To answer your question, um, I'm moving my, it's, and I'm also going to move my campaign office to Roswell, New Mexico, and another one in Exeter, New Hampshire, okay? And, uh, and also, you have to keep in mind that, more, that Jimmy Carter saw a UFO. Well, I was the deputy governor of, a, of 56 Lions Clubs in Southwest Georgia, and I had to visit all the Lions Clubs and make a speech. And I was outside a, a school lunchroom one night, right before sundown, and it was getting dark and we were getting ready to eat supper. And I and about 25 men were standing around, and all of a sudden in the western sky we saw a strange light coming through us, a round light, and it, it got closer and closer, and right above the pine trees, it stopped. And then it began to change colors from blue to red to white. And then it stayed there for a while, blew all the gas, we didn't know what it was, and then it just disappeared into the west. That was the end of it. So it was a genuine UFO in that it was an unidentified flying object, but I have never thought and still don't think it's possible for you know, creatures from Mars to come in and us into the next one. The three astronauts of Apollo 11 who went to the moon back in 1969 all said that they believe there's life beyond Earth. Do you agree? Yeah. You know, I don't know, and I don't presume to know. What I know is there's life here on Earth, and, and that we're not attending to life here on Earth. Uh, we're not taking care of kids uh, who are alive and unfortunately are not getting health care. We're not taking care of senior citizens who are alive and are seeing their uh, heating prices go up. So as president, those are the people I will be attending to first. Yes. There may be uh, some other folks on their way. From the Marine Corps Major Donald Keevil asserted that there was far more to UFOs than swamp cats. In fact, the radio was at one time that a top secret instrument that these things were interplanetary stations. Today we have over 10,000 cases of Wright Patterson Air Force, of which 646 of these remain unidentified. The Air Force has been accused from time to time of hiding information about the UFO. What do you have to say to that? Well, these charges are absolutely untrue. The Air Force continued to maintain that it was hiding nothing. And we've always honored accredited media. When they wanted to investigate a given specific site, there's nothing to hide. There's nothing to hide at all. Well, this is not an attack on the Air Force spokesman or the project spokesman. They are simply following orders to explain away all UFO sightings as quickly as possible when they become public and deny that UFOs really exist. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and here it goes. In 1965, Gordon Cooper was the last American astronaut to go up into space alone. The only He's orbited the planet 22 times. Years earlier, while stationed at Edwards Air Force Base, Cooper witnessed an event that has yet to be explained nearly 50 years later. He was supervising the filming of a precision landing facility for F-86 fighter jets. Suddenly, a saucer-like craft flew directly over the tunnel. Three Indian gear apparatus opened, and the object landed on the dry lake bed. It was a typical uh, saucer shape, double rotating shape, and now it was in the lap, it left the camera, and then it got knocked one in the camera, and then it left the lap, put the gear back in the lap, and tied it down to very high, and it stayed just clean. Cooper had the film footage of the strange craft developed. By the time it returned from processing, he had gone up through the ranks to report the incident. I mean, the equipment probably didn't do it, you know, I'm telling the lab that my day has to put it in, and I'm telling the class that it didn't occur to me at my office by that time, I'm already in. And then it ran for me, and then it came out, and I bade ceremony back to Washington, and I didn't spend it on it. 
After the developed film was sent by plane to Washington, it was never seen or heard of again. Did you keep in touch with him about it? Discussed how did I keep in touch with him about it? Thank you. 